I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the physics of playing the saxophone. The saxophone is an, is an instrument that is always played with a neck strap, and it's important to make sure you have it adjusted properly. Um, frequently, students have it entirely too low, so we want to make sure we've got it adjusted in such a way that if you drop the saxophone as the, as the neck strap is hooked up to it, it would fall into your mouth like this. I can keep my body completely relaxed and not really uh, enough to put my body under undue stress to, to hold the saxophone. So the neck strap adjustment is extremely important. Uh, frequently your, your students, um, young students that I see almost always have it adjusted too low and that leads to a slashing look like this. We want to try to avoid that. Just have them pull their neck strap. Almost always you can say pull your neck strap up an inch or two. Um, the second part of holding the saxophone is obviously you, your hands. And the way I have students hold their hands to grab a hold of the saxophone is first put them at their side and just let them hang in a natural, relaxed position. Pick them up, put them on the instrument. Thumbs, there's a thumb button for your left hand and a thumb rest for your right hand. Those are obviously two, the two contact points that your hands have with the instrument in addition to the neck strap. And uh, that's what you use to control, to really control the instrument as you're playing it. Um, it's really important with, a, with a, something strapped around your neck to keep, your, keep, keep the instrument counterbalanced, but without overdoing it. Oftentimes we see saxophones leaning way back to counterbalance the weight of the instrument pulling on their neck. It's really not that necessary. It's a fairly light instrument. And if you've got your thumbs placed on it properly, uh, you should be able to distribute the weight in such a way that you can keep your body centered and uh, in a really relaxed position without creating undue tension and stress on your body. Um, all of these things that I'm gonna talk about are really the same whether you're sitting or standing. Um, frequently, obviously in ensemble settings, your, sa your saxophones are always going to be sitting down, um, but everything remains the same. You're, it just, wh what I'm basically talking about is from your hips up. So as you sit in the chair, everything's the same. You're upright, thumbs are on the saxophone, the neck strap is adjusted so the saxophone doesn't touch the chair. In that case, if you're sitting down, um, that's one thing to watch out, watch out for. And uh, that they can comfortably put the instrument into their mouth. Um, another thing that we've frequently see is some saxophones play with the instrument straight ahead like this and other sax whether you're sitting or standing when people are sitting like this it's obviously between their legs uh, when you're when you're seated oftentimes saxophone is put it on the side it requires a minor adjustment to the mouthpiece just tilt it ever so slightly but not a huge one sometimes we see saxophonists with their instrument adjusted like this that's too far it just requires an extremely minor adjustment probably less than a half an inch of a twist and you're like this. If I'm sitting down with an alto saxophone, it's just barely off to the side. You don't really want to see it back and over, just still upright, neck strap adjusted properly, thumbs in place, and, um, and you're ready to play. Um, the last thing that I'd tell you about the, just the physics of playing the saxophone and getting your body prepared for it is we oftentimes see some really interesting um, tilting of the head to adjust to the instrument in some way. That's never necessary um, if the student is upright and everything's put together properly. The, the, the neck must be in line with the bell. As you can see, my saxophone, I'm going to hold it up here, is in, the neck is in line with the bell. It's not, as we'll oftentimes see, like that. 